we go. Welcome to Star Trek Online. Right. Because of the Temple Agent recruitment event is active, you may not skip the tutorial with a new TOS capture. Remember that you may, that you must re acquire the Temple Agent transceiver now during the event to be eligible for the Temple Agent reward. Once you've become a recruit, you can continue to earn progress towards rewards even after the recruitment event has ended. So that's basically saying that you need to do the tutorial, pick up the um, transceiver that they give you during the event to be able to continue as the temporal agent. So you can do you can do the tutorial, pick up the temp transponder, and then after that you could leave the game for a, a month two months whatever even uh, even when the event's finished and you can come back and still do the temporal agent rewards but you do have to create you do have to complete the tutorial and pick up the transponder otherwise when you come back you'll just have a normal um tos character rather than a temporal agent character okay so let's proceed with the tutorial Captain's Log, Stardate 6147.4. We're orbiting planet Taurus 2 in the Murasaki 312 Nebula. Our orders, investigate the disappearance of a science vessel in this area. Search and rescue operations are about to commence. Okay. People you can interact with have icons above their heads. You can press the interaction key, default F, to talk with them. Right. Down in the bottom left hand corner, you'll notice the screen that says chat. This is your chat window. Which to allows move, you to use the W, A, S and D keys. To look around, hold down the right mouse button and move your mouse. Which allows you to chat with other people uh, in the game. If you're in a social zone like uh, Earth Space Dock or DS9. Um, I won't go through all the options now, but you can click on the settings and chat settings and you can set up extra tabs. So if you've got friends in the game, you could add a friends tab which would then only show you conversations from your friends or the chat shows any zone chat NPC shows all the chat that comes from NPC zoning and a basic combat um, reader but we're not going to need that so Uh, yeah, there we go. We don't need to see that. Right, then we have these little pop-up screens come up uh, as part of the tutorial that uh, helps you um, to get used to the game and to and to understand like WASD is to move around. It's all the standard sort of stuff. And then if you don't want the help because um, because you've played these sorts of games before, you can disable the pop-up by clicking the tick, or you can dismiss them by clicking the X. So, don't need to know that. Uh, people you can interact with have icons above their head. You can press the interaction key, which is the default of F, so you can change it to a different key uh, in the options um, to talk to them. So that's that. And you see the, these characters have got an icon uh, above his head. So, and if you hover with your mouse, you can see a speech bubble pop up that tells you you can talk to them. And it also tells you what his name is, Captain Garrett. This one is a ensign engineering officer. 
the Ensign Security Officer. And here we are on a bridge that looks remarkably like the bridge of the Enterprise. So it's view screen up front. So let's talk to the captain. When you get close to a character, it comes up with a little pop up that says talk to. So you either click with the mouse or as it says, press F. So click. Lieutenant, we've located the wreckage of a crashed ship down there. I need to get boots on the ground. Find out what's going on. Take a landing party down to the surface. Assess the situation and look for survivors. And then over on the right hand side of the screen is where you click to continue. So we'll beam down right away, sir. Not so fast. We can't use the transporters due to atmospheric interference. We'll need to take a shuttlecraft down. Use the sensors to locate a safe landing site. Right, and what we have to do is scan the surface to find a suitable landing site. Now often um, hints of what you have to do are in bold green like that. It's a hint that there's something to do. So we click, sounds good to me sir. Right, and on the right hand side is a little screen over here that tells you what mission you're on and hints as to what you have to do, like scan the surface of Tadras 3. So, Taurus 3. We've also up here got a map, which if you press M would give you a larger version and you can use the scroll wheel on your mouse to, to zoom in and zoom out. And this big yellow circle here gives you a hint of where to go. So we need to scan the surface and that's going to be somewhere within this yellow circle. So let's get rid of the map again. Um, in a lot of missions they also put an exclamation mark as to where you have to go. So Let's go over to this console, and then we got another little pop-up, scan surface. There we go, and then it's changed to report to Captain Garrett, so we need to go back to the captain. Report to Captain. Did you find a suitable landing area? Yes, sir. There's a good size clearing close to the crash site. Excellent. I've assigned Ensign Mears to your landing party. She's been to Taurus 2 before. Her insight will be quite valuable. Meet up with her and the others in the shuttle bay. Don't forget to grab a phaser in the armory on your way. From what I've read in Jim Kirk's report, Taurus 2 can get a little rough. Right. And we need to head down to the armory. Aye, sir. On my way. Your current tasks will be displayed here. Ah, giving you a hint of what I've already told you. So, dismiss that. We take the turbo lift to the engineering deck. So, <coughs> seems to only be one turbo lift. Handily, there's a security uh, officer waiting for us. Now, if you notice, if you stand too far away, the character that you're supposed to interact with waves at you to see if I can get her to do it. Lieutenant, the armory is the other way. Okay, thank you, crewman. Just going to see if she'd wave. Going to wave. What if I walk back in the tub? In a wave? No, she did when we first beamed in. Some characters do, some characters um, would do it once, and others will uh, 
if you're supposed to follow them if you get too far we'll we'll turn around and wave so you know to follow them right so she's got an interact icon over her head anyway none of the other uh, NPCs do so let's talk to the ensign ensign Tarsi reporting for duty the captain's asked me to make sure you get back in one piece and I intend to do just that thanks Tarsi what do you know about Taurus 3 let's see M-class planet, barely. The Taurians are big, primitive, and quick to anger. I'd keep my phaser handy if I were you. Speaking of which, if you want to follow me to the armory, we can make sure your phaser is properly calibrated. Right, lead the way, Ensign. Your mini-map shows you where your objectives are. An arrow will appear on the mini-map if you are far away from your objective. Okay. And as you see, there's a big group of arrows to show you who you're supposed to be following. And she stopped to wait for us. So if we get close, she'll run away. There we go. So we'll go in here. Interactable items have a glow around them. Walk up and press F to interact with the phaser to pick it up. Okay. So we see the interactable items have got the yellow glow and when you get close to them you get a dialogue so pick up phaser there we go and that's equipped it down the bottom here your phaser pistol has been automatically equipped you can practice on the nearby targets select a target and then right click to attack it okay so stand in the booth and primary attack is number one on your keypad number two is secondary attack which in this case is stun and three is your melee uh, attack so if we do one he gets a weapon out here we go and do it again like that. Uh, number two is the stun, which in this case doesn't look any different. Good job, Lieutenant. There we go. That should be enough, unless you want more practice. And then, of course, number three is your melee attack when you're up close to uh, the target. And so. I swing round she's holding a weapon if you press H H for Harry on the keyboard she'll holster the holster her weapon and if, if, if you hold down uh, your left mouse button you can move around your character and if you hold down the right mouse button, you can turn the character. And if you hold down the left and right mouse button, you can get the character to run around while you're moving the mouse. If you would like to do that. Or just use left, right, W, A, S, D. as the normal movement characters. You can also, if you want to, use the arrow keys move around which um, when you're on the ground um, is sometimes depending on your keyboard layout easier to use the arrow keys and the number pad to the right hand side to do your one two three and whatever you've got set up on these extra uh, slots so like if I press 4 on the keyboard it would use the hyperspray and if one of my crewmates uh, has been knocked out you can revive them by pressing 5 and you can move all of these around 
use in the menu over here and you, you would just drag them with your right mouse button to where you want. Uh, there we go, so I could right click, hold and drag to zero and I can also, there's not many on here at the moment, but you can also, by left dragging, drag any of these onto your little bar, hot bar at the bottom. And then, to stop you from accidentally dragging them off when this window's closed, you can lock the tray. And hovering over each one would tell you what it does. Right, let's move on. Oh. Right, we need to reach the shuttle bay. Right, so we're following... Following again. Um, when you're running, uh, when you're moving, if you press... Press the shift button. You can run. If you press C, you can crouch. And let's, let's get rid of these. Well, there's a Klingon invasion. Anyway, yeah, so if we're moving forward you press shift, and press and hold shift, you'll run. Press C to crouch, and uh, if you press V, that, um, if, there's some, if there's something you need to do, it will often point you in the direction. At the moment I have nothing. But ordinarily, if it finds something, or finds an anomaly, it will point you in the direction of it. And... Yeah, the X... The X key on your keyboard will put you in aim mode, which, in a lot of combat games, will show your uh, iron sights to zoom in to where you've zoom in a bit to where you're um, pointing to make your shooting a bit more accurate so you can use the X key to do that, that's the whole shift for that right, let's speak to this Ensign Ensign Mears, reporting is ordered I'm ready when you are though I can't say I'm happy to see Taurus 2 again oh, why is that Ensign? I was one of the so-called Galileo 7 a science team sent to study the Murasaki effect our shuttle crashed on Taurus 2. Not all of us made it back to the Enterprise alive. Sorry to hear that. Thank you. You can see why I'm reluctant to return to such a place. I do, but you're the only one on board with local experience. Your insight would be invaluable. I... Yes, of course you're right, Lieutenant. I am a Starfleet officer and I will perform my duties. You can count on me. I never doubted it for a second. Where are you going? Come on, we're going to the shuttle. Let's have a little look. Copernicus. Right. Let's board the shuttle then. 